Hey, what's up people? This is Steven with another Pixel for Life video tutorial. Today is going to be the start of a short series where we create one web element a day for one week. You can download it <coughs> from our website. End of the week, hopefully we will have a zip file with all the web elements that you can do with whatever you want. You can sell them, burn them, print them, I don't know what you guys do with PSDs. Anyhow, today we are going to be creating a search bar. Now, um, I'm not sure what I'll do. Maybe I will touch up the elements before I release them because tutorials I don't like to um, pick at and get perfect the first try because it just takes too long. Uh, it's more for a learning experience rather than creating something extremely perfect. So if they do change a little bit from the final product that you download, don't get mad at me. Um, this is more for a teaching thing rather than some final. Anyhow, let's just get started. So to begin, what I like to do is just create some text just to get my basic shape. So we'll just say um, search item. Let's see, my font is way too big. And normally I like to keep it at about maybe 14 or 15 pixels. Let's go 15 and that can kind of give me a size that I need to make the, the box around it. Let's make this a familiar font, Helvetica, and let's change it to Helvetica New or whatever it's pronounced, and Medium. Perfect. Let's make it 14 pixels because that looks a little large. Looks good. Alright, so now we have a basic size element. And that's pretty much how I do um, like header sizes and everything. I don't have a specific measurement. I kind of just type put the font size that I want and work around that. So now that we have that, I am grabbing my rounded rectangle tool and we'll make it just two pixels, maybe four later on, we'll see what that looks like. And I'm just going to drag out a box. That looks a little too square, so I'll change that to four pixels. And we'll do something like this. Looks good so far. Whoa! That's a dark fella. Let's make it white and we'll zoom out and this gray background is going to stay consistent throughout throughout all the tutorials that way our elements kind of match the gray and then you can tweak them to whatever your website needs so now that we have a white <clears throat> let us create a search button create a new layer and then what I'm going to do actually is delete the new layer and just duplicate this by going command J or you can drag and drop it to the new layer button down here but control J is fast and quick for me. So what I'm going to do is just select that side right here, hold down shift and drag this over like that. And maybe we can make this a little bit wider. I'm going to change this to a green color because green is my favorite color. It looks good. And that's going to be the actual search button. So now let's begin stylizing. Let's double click this background layer, add a stroke, one pixel, and we'll make it a dark gray. So I'm just going to click the background and then just make it slightly darker. Something like that. And then we'll do a drop shadow. Um, change this to normal. We'll make it white. Distance will be one pixel, spread 100. Size, let's make it one. And then for global lighting, Let's make it 90. Okay? And then you can lower that opacity just so it has a slight gloss on the bottom. So now that we got that, we also need to add a inner shadow. So I'm going to go inner shadow, bring down my choke. I messed with my defaults, so this is going to be a little bit different than what yours looks like. Bring down the distance and pick up the size so it kind of blurs it a bit. That looks pretty good. Actually, what I want to do is reset the defaults. I'm going to leave it. Um, I'm going to change the color to white, and this will make this will make sense. Sorry about that. And then for inner glow, we're going to make this the shadow. So go to inner glow, go to normal, change the color to black, and you can kind of see the glow happening there. Size, we'll do two. It's maybe kind of big. 
and then the choke will keep all the way down, lower that opacity, just so you can kind of see a slight uh, inner inner shadow there, and then this or and then this inner shadow is just going to be a highlight on the top. If I uncheck it and recheck it, you can kind of see it appearing right here to add some depth. And that's looking good to me. Let's zoom out. Click OK. Zoom into 100%, and that looks awesome. So again, let me just go over this real quick. Drop, drop shadow is that slight white on the bottom. I'll uncheck it. And then inner shadow is just that white on the top. It adds some kind of like highlight. Then inner glow is the actual gray. And stroke is the normal stroke. So that's all there is to it. Let me just go down so you can see my settings again. And there we go. All right, now for this button, we are going to create a new layer above it. I'm going to zoom in and go to my custom shape tool right here. And we'll just grab a magnifying glass. Where is it at? Right here. We'll drag that out. And then we'll change the color to click the green and make it darker. Double click it. Go to drop shadow. Then again, we're just going to do distance of one, size of zero, normal color, make it white. And then let's see, lower that opacity. And that's good enough for now. Let's stylize this green button. So double, double click this. Let's do a stroke of one pixel on the inside and select this and make it a dark green. And then let's add a, um, a bevel and a boss. Bring down your opacity and make your size zero. Well, one. So you get that slight highlight right there. And then we're going to add a gradient. And let's try overlay and see what that looks like. Bring up your scale. Oops, bring it to 100. Looking good. And let's zoom out and see what that looks like. That pops out really nicely. Cool, cool. Alright, so I'm not liking this magnifying glass. Let's try a, um, like a gray color. Maybe white. Ew. Let's try white, and then we're going to double click it and do an inner shadow and bring down that opacity. Uh, not fully happy with that. I don't know, that's looking pretty good. I don't want to keep working on it and boring you guys. Um, let's just... Uh, I, don't, I can't leave it. Alright, that looks better. Let's double, ch double click, do the drop shadow, and maybe bring that up slightly. And that looks good enough for me. Alright, last, last part is going to be stylizing this search item text. Well, not too much styling. Let's just change the color to a uh, dark gray. Something like that. 686868. That works for me. And then let's, let's rename this. Search background. Search button. And then search mag. Group this together to um, button and then underscore search just to keep things a little bit neat and then the search item can stay up here then we'll group this whole thing together and call this search bar and that is going to be our first element now the rest of them are going to be the same kind of style uh, a little bit of 3D and you know really nice looking and smooth and then at the end you'll be able to download all the items and again you can use it for whatever you want I don't really care um, you can edit them just uh, if you want, you can just say, you know, you found it from Pixel for Life, and I would really appreciate that. That would always help me out when you guys spread the word about us. So thanks for watching, and be sure to check tomorrow for the second tutorial. I'm not sure what we're going to create, but it's going to be awesome. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.